Come on, bear. This way. Come on, bear. Let's go. Over here. That boy sack. Come on, bear. Come with us. I don't want to be chasing you around all day. Lord, don't. That a girl, bear. Beat the bush in there. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not going to leave you, bud. It's okay. I'm out looking for ducks here now. Uh, here with Beer and Saki, I got them back there. Tied on, I'm just checking out a small little gully. I don't want to bring two of them up with me. It'll be a lot of commotion and it could scare the ducks away. So if I see any, I'll try to make a shot and then I'll use Saki to go out and get it for me. So, having a little peek at a few small bodies of water and then we'll sit down and have a lunch so I'll catch up with you then doesn't seem to be any ducks there so I'm gonna go ahead and check another spot
How's it going folks? I'm just here hanging out now at a old camp of mine. It's probably been two years since I've been down here. As you can tell, I left the tarp off and it's all sideways and flipped around and torn apart and everything else. <laughs> but it's nice to be back. Uh, this location is probably four hours away from where I live in central Newfoundland but uh, I don't want to give away the spot so we'll leave it at that can you see me through the smoke or what everything's wet it's been pouring the last couple days but I came down today with old Saku and Bear brought two of them along to get them both out off the leash. Living the living the dog's dream. <laughs> uh, looking for a few ducks on the way down. That's open up here now in Newfoundland. Migratory, uh, migratory bird season for geese and ducks. Uh, season's also open for grouse and partridge. Uh, so I had a look but didn't see a thing. But basically I came down to just give a channel update and uh, talk about the direction of the channel, where it's going over the next little while. Uh, I'm going to do a giveaway later on to celebrate the release of Saku's new book, Saku's Great Newfoundland Adventure, so stick around for that. And I'm going to talk, uh, just well basically, this is a celebration too for my 20,000 subscribers I hit that mark it's been a while ago now geez I don't know if it's been a month or so I think it was in the summer maybe two months I don't know time is flying by anyways I want to do this a while ago and I haven't got around to that either but so we're here and I want to thank you all I wouldn't have hit that mark if it wasn't for you guys you know watching the videos and, and subbing and you know whatever else just commenting, sharing, liking the videos, thanks, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, I can say it a million times, uh, I don't want to repeat it, but I really appreciate it, and it's because of your help that the channel has grown, and that the videos are doing well, I mean, most of the videos I put up now at least get 10,000 views, and I'm over the moon because of that, so there's lots more to come, so thank you. So, number one reason, celebrate the 20,000 subs. And to talk about the channel, so, you know, uh, I went, I had a bit of a break in the summer with the channel, and it might be like that at times, and I'll talk about why in a minute. But I was gone uh, to Spain for a couple weeks. Me and Heather, we had a great trip over there. It was amazing. We went to... Uh, to Dublin that was our stopover when we left well, we left Newfoundland we flew to Toronto and then we had to go over to Dublin anyways it was a bit of beating around and we landed in Dublin over in Ireland and we spent a couple nights there which was great and uh, yeah and then we went to Spain and you know the, the architecture the history the landscape everything about it, it was a nice relaxing trip and we've seen some cool some very real cool stuff so that was all good Found a snaky skin, snake shit. I was just joking with Heather, saying there were snakes around. Didn't know there was, but that's the shell right there. I wonder what kind of snake it is. Any real ones around? I wonder. Heather ran home. <laughs> Want to see one now? 
tick something off my list. Actually, I've seen snakes before in New Brunswick. They weren't venomous. I don't know if that one was. Just on the snake on. Any snakes in there? We came back from that trip and then I took off and went on the Gray River expedition. Uh, so, you know, that was about 20 days, you know, getting there and doing the trip and everything else. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a break, but now I had the Gray River series. And uh, of course, coming up is going to be the Crossing Labrador and into Northern Quebec expedition that I went on last year with Saku in 2018. Spoke about it before. We went just about a thousand kilometers uh, and it was a long trip and it was it was wild. So I'm really looking forward to digging into that footage and starting to cut that because I have a ton of it and you know it's going to be my best series yet. There's going to be you know uh, action, wilderness, and everything else in between. But, you know, I want to do that series a little differently than, than just, you know, if I went out for a few nights and came home and quickly caught a video and put the video out like a week later. With, with these, these kind of trips and these longer expeditions in this series, you know, I want to do it justice. I want to take my time and make it more of a documentary style than just a video. So that's the plan. So it's going to take me time. Uh, over the fall now, I might go out on a couple short trips. I'm looking at maybe doing a four or five nighter in a couple of weeks. Uh, and I also have a caribou license this year, uh, woodland caribou. My first first ever license for a caribou, uh, first ever license for a big game, in fact. I've been, a, I've been a part of a couple moose hunts when I was up in Labrador, but uh, to go after my own and a caribou, that's going to be a good experience. So that will probably be some sort of video when the time comes. But the way it will work, uh, some of these videos before the crossing Labrador trip, whether it be if I go out for a few nights, I have a couple ideas in mind, or I, you know, I film some of my hunt, you know, later on. But I got to spend a lot of time on the Labrador series, so the channel could have a couple, couple lulls. There could be a couple little breaks where I may go two weeks or so without a video because I'm just crunching away to get the Labrador series out, which I hope will be. I, I would say six to eight parts. I don't know, it's real hard to say, but certainly it'll be at least that many. And uh, I'd like to release it starting in later on in November. That's the plan, if all goes well. So stick around for that. But it's hard for me to be going out and continually doing trips and then editing this big long series of like an 83 day expedition. Because if I go out doing smaller trips, uh, then I'm spending my time on those. And then I can't work on the Labrador series. And uh, as I said, I just want to do I want to do a good, tidy job on it. And that's the way uh, I want it to be. And of course, you know, you know, I like the expeditions. That's my passion. That's what I love to do is the long trips, the long extended ones. I don't mind coming out for a couple nights. I love that too. But my passion is the long expeditions you know I'm fascinated with the challenges the, the physical and mental challenges and you know trying to get through them and you know you get that knot in your stomach you don't know what's going to happen next and and when you get through the situations it's 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 an, an indescribable joy I can't explain it to you but that's what I love and I don't get that on the shorter trips you know I still get to feel the outdoors and you know, soothe my desire 
know to be out here, but uh, it's not the same. So my channel might be like that going down the road. I mean, if, if I'm going to go on another big trip, uh, probably in the winter, next summer, you know, whether it be a two weeks, three weeks, it could be longer. And of course, there probably won't be any videos when I'm gone for those too. But when I get back, you're guaranteed there's going to be some good content uh, on my channel. So, you know, that's kind of how the channel is going to be. I don't know if I'm repeating myself here now, but uh, the other thing with me too is, you know, for those who don't know, uh, Zach is, has his book out. That was a project I was a part of. Uh, I wrote my own book. I'd like to write another one on the Labrador expedition. Well, I've, I've, I've already kind of dug into it now and I've, I've started writing. And uh, I go around and I do a lot of speaking on these expeditions too. Uh, presenting to, you know, to schools, to, you know, corporate meetings, uh, you know, just for entertainment at, you know, local halls, and I've done museums. So I do, I do a lot. I'm just not working on YouTube videos. So, uh, you know, and as you all know, this all takes time. So, so bear with me when there's, if there's breaks in the channel, if I go two or three weeks, I'll try to do something quick to just let you know I'm still alive. Uh, but I have plans to, to do this for a long time coming, and I want you all to be here uh, for the ride. One thing I have in mind, uh, and it, it comes down to challenging myself because I don't, I don't mind coming out again doing this stuff, but just to come out and have a fire and cut a bit of wood and set up a camp. Yeah, I'm working on basic skills, but that doesn't help me for the longer expeditions where I'm a couple hundred kilometers away from you know civilization and I could be battling you know whatever tough conditions nature is throwing at us or you know running on little food or you know things like this so I, I want my body to be prepared physically and mentally so I like to challenge myself and uh, I'm considering over the next little while before Christmas to maybe head out for a week and take pretty much nothing with me maybe a bit of bannock and and try to snare rabbits and you know hunt a few ducks or geese or you know grouse and partridge and stuff and so I think I may film that if I get to, if, get the time and well I want to do it uh, but I might as well film it and show you how it goes but that's something you know that might prepare me for a situation where I you know I flip my canoe over and I lose everything and I'm you know a couple weeks away from help you know if I've put myself in a situation where I have little food and little gear or whatever it might be then I'm more prepared when the time comes it's no different than uh, you know than anyone else preparing for their job you know if you guys have you know whatever you work at you got to prepare yourself uh, throw yourself in situations and I'm sure you all do that the best you can so that's one idea, but without further ado now, I want to get into to the giveaway, the goods, and one, actually, no, we're not going to get into the giveaway right yet. I'm going to save it for the end. I've been, uh, people have been sending me some gifts, and maybe I should save them and do an unboxing. It's just, you know, time is limited, but I do want to thank people. Uh, you know, I do thank them personally, but I'm going to thank them here now. You know, uh, in front of you guys and, you know, the people who gave me these things, you're probably watching. So I want to thank you, too, and just show some of the items I've gotten. Uh, one, of the, one of the items I've sent, oh, geez, a while back now, maybe six months ago, was this book called Outdoor Safety and Survival by Mike Nash from Prince George, B.C. And Mike's a subscriber. Uh, you know, he's very knowledgeable in survival and, you know, outdoors education. And he's written this book basically, you know, on safety and survival. So I want to thank Mike for that. Uh, I've, I've flicked through it. It's a great book. And I certainly want to read some more. I'm far from an expert and there's always things to learn. And uh, that'll be the case until the day I die, you know, hopefully in a long time. <laughs> but, uh, you know. We can always learn and we can always get better. So Mike uh, 
has his website here and some information and maybe I'll just take a shot of the card and put this over here now so you can see and you can check out his website and maybe if you want to get a book you can contact him I'm sure Mike won't mind me doing that and uh, real good book so thanks Mike uh, some other items and some of these names I have forgotten but I think a lad named Andrew gave me uh, he gave me some spinners or some spoons he also gave me a chocolate mint truffle tobacco or something along that lines or I think it's Irish cream actually I have it there somewhere I brought it down with me but it's for my pipe and uh, what was it called Irish cream and white chocolate truffle sort so Andrew sent me this and I've I've smoked a bit of it on my trips uh, I don't really smoke the pipe a whole lot at home maybe in the evening you know very rare it's just my thing I like to do in the evenings when I'm on my trips in the woods uh, you know I don't I don't smoke cigarettes or nothing like that but I like the pipe tobacco and uh, in the morning in the evening so it's nice I've enjoyed it there's still lots left so thanks for that Andrew I I've only caught one small brook trout on your spinner uh, so hopefully next year I can use them again and have better luck I wasn't out fishing that much this summer uh, that five day solo wilderness trip I posted in June I did a bit of fishing then and, it, and early in the season I was out a couple times and then of course on the Grey River trip I did some and uh, I actually tried these spinners then too Andrew and you'll probably see in the next episode episode 5 uh, but they didn't work then maybe I'm not good enough at it <laughs> anyways I don't know thank you for that uh, another subscriber sent me this more knife and um, I don't have his name written down and I'm sorry but you know who you are so it's a more knife beautiful beautiful blade I haven't used it yet uh, what's the name on it? The Mora Garberg Multi Mount. Mount, sorry. Nice knife. Nice flat spine on it. Uh, you know, for using the Firo rod, if I want to use that. But it's a nice knife. So thanks for that. I haven't used it yet, as I said. But I got a lot of knives kicking around, so I'm going to save this one for maybe a big expedition or a trip. But yeah, thanks again for that. Uh, this wasn't so much a gift, oh, beer was just lying on it, it's soaking wet now, but this wasn't so much a gift from a, a subscriber, I don't know, from away or something, uh, it was, but it was from subscribers, but I met them face to face, they're from Newfoundland, and uh, it's from Brady and Cameron, and they popped out to a presentation of mine in Grand Falls, Windsor, where I live. Uh, you know back in June and they showed up and uh, they gave me some blueberry tea it's called uh, premium organic tea wild blueberry uh, it's black tea black tea elderberries which I'm not really sure what they are raisin pieces and hibiscus petals and it's made by the Newfoundland tea company so I haven't tried it yet and I've had it for a while. I kind of laid it aside and forgot I had it. So sorry, boys. But the other problem was that I had no tea bags to steep it in. And I just kept forgetting. But my mother gave me some uh, this morning because I'm home to visit. And uh, I'm going to have a cup of it now when I cook some, some kippers up that I got for a snack. Some uh, smoked kippers or mackerel, herring, whatever you want to call them. And... Uh, I'm going to try the tea with it. So they gave me the tea and they gave me this nice paracord bracelet that one of them made. I can't remember if it was Brady or Cameron, but uh, handmade by themselves. So thanks again, boys. Uh, and then another lad from Newfoundland, Chris Kelly. I just took this to, rem to remember his name. Uh, he sent me some flies uh, for... Atlantic salmon basically some salmon flies 
And Chris, unfortunately, I did get out to use them this summer twice, but I didn't hook a salmon. I only got out twice this year. Again, I was all over the map, and between the jigs and the reels, as we say here in Newfoundland, I didn't get one. So I still got plenty of flies left. So thanks again for those, Chris, and I hope you're still watching. Uh, and Greg, I do believe it's Greg is his name, uh, from Ontario, sent me not just these matches, but he just sent me a big care package, Greg. So thanks for that. He had a care package. I mean, he had a few beers in there. He had like some summer sausage, uh, some treats that were made uh, locally in Ontario where he's from. So lots of good items. So I appreciate that, Greg. And yeah, so that's it for, you know, things people have sent me that I have on me now. So again, thank you for that. But now it's time to get into the giveaway. So let's get it started. It's gonna work like this. I'm gonna have 10 prizes. First prize is gonna be Saku's book and you're gonna get a Saku bookmark that they've made, the publishing company. And uh, you're gonna get a Newfoundland Explorer sticker with my logo on it. The logo, that's my picture for my YouTube channel profile. They're, they're weatherproof stickers. So that's gonna be prize number one. Prize number two is going to be another Saku book with another sticker and a bookmark. Uh, prize number three is going to be one of my prints. I'm just going to pick one and I'll, I'll put it over me right now so you can see the print that I'm going to send you. So you're going to get that print and I haven't decided yet. I'm just going to pick a cool one. I got some decent ones that, have, that are taken from my expeditions. Uh, so again, third prize is going to be and I'll put this below so you guys know what's going on, but it's going to be a print uh, with st a sticker. And you're going to get, or is, hold on, now I've got to double check something here. Give me a second. Okay, yeah, so prize number three is just going to be a print with the stickers. And then prize number four, you're going to get two spinners made by a fella named Sean Etheridge, who also lives in Newfoundland. He makes handmade spinners. I'll link his page below uh, where you can contact him to get some of your own. I've talked about him before in some of my videos, but Sean made one spinner with uh, the Newfoundland logo on it, and he has another one with the Labrador logo. Well, I guess the, it's the flag, sorry. It's the Newfoundland flag and the Labrador flag. Because for those who don't know, I mean, we're one province, Newfoundland and Labrador, but we each have our own respective flags. And, you know, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I think the Newfoundland flag is for the entire province. Uh, but Labrador has their own, because Labrador needs their own, because it's a big land and it's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing place, so they have their own flag. Uh, so you're going to get spinner with each of the flags, and you'll get... A couple stickers as well. So that's the first four prizes, and then prize five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Six more prizes. You're just going to get, I'll probably send you two or three stickers in a package, and I'll put these stickers above here now so you can see what they look like if you haven't seen them already. Uh, but all these stickers I'm talking about, they're three inch by three inch. Uh, so yeah, prizes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Six prizes. You're all going to get stickers, and I'll send them out in a letter. Uh, so, that's it. So, I don't think I missed anything there. This is just an appreciation for everything, and it's also to, you know, to get you excited about Saku's Great Newfoundland Adventure. Uh, that's a book that was written by a local author, and, you know, for those who haven't heard about it, it's, it's our Newfoundland expedition from 2017 me and Saku you know we traveled across the wilderness in Newfoundland so it's our story you know from that trip told from Saku's point of view and uh, it's a wonderful book uh, it's you know it's it's aimed at the youth to get them excited to be outdoors to, to get them excited to read because that's important too but it's you know it's an all-ages book I think anyone will sit down and enjoy it so 
that sack was booked and coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, I have my own book that I wrote called Man and Dog Through the Newfoundland Wilderness. So that's like my, you know, my memoir of the trip. Uh, it's a it's a novel, and uh, I'm excited to share that one too. So there'll be more on that. But we're talking about sackus here today, and that's what I'm going to be giving away. And uh, you know, if if you don't happen to win the giveaway, uh, there's going to be a link below in this video description where you can purchase the book from me. Uh, I have a Shopify store set up, and you can purchase it from there. And uh, you know, that gives extra support to my channel so we can get out and continue to film all these expeditions and adventures to share our experiences and, and the big wild world with you. You know, so uh, that's, that's what's going on there. So again, if you buy from the store, you give extra support to the channel. But you can also, like the books at Chapters online, so you can get it from Chapters too. Uh, chapters Indigo, your choice. But I'll leave it at that. How do you win? Very simple, very simple. Uh, you just basically, you have to like this video. Uh, you have to subscribe to the channel. That's the most important one, if you haven't already. And comment below. Just say in. We're, we'll keep this pretty simple. Just say in and uh, you're in for the draw. Then if you want to say something else after, you want to say comment, write your comment after. But first say in. And uh, you know, I'll give this, I don't know, 10 days, and then I'll do a draw for the 10 winners, and I'll do a quick little video to let you know who won. It'll be quicker than this one, because I'm sure I'm, you know, babbling on like I always do, repeat myself. But that's it, I'm just running with it. So uh, yeah, we'll give it seven to 10 days. Uh, and I'm also going to do one, around the same time I put this video out, I'm also going to do a giveaway on Instagram, a separate one, and one on Facebook. So, and I may do one for my Patreons as well. So certainly two, maybe three. So I'll put the links to those things below, you know, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon. And uh, you can go over there and check that out and you can have another chance at getting Saku's book. Because on those platforms I'll probably just give away one so that's it go down below do all the things i just said don't forget because if you don't say in below you're not going to be in the draw <laughs> pretty simple we got to keep things straightforward don't we hmm. that's it i don't think i forgot anything i'm thinking I'm actually just going to check my phone now because I had a few jot notes made. You got to make jot notes. You got to be prepared. If not, you're going to fail. Right? It's a, it's a fact of life. So I somewhat prepared for this on my phone. Lots going on. I'm doing the best I can. Just like the rest of us, you know. Yada, yada. Yeah, so I think I got everything nailed down there. Uh, I'm going to cook a little feed a kippers now for me and the dogs I got something going on this evening so then I gotta get out of here don't know if I'll film any of that if I do see a duck on the way <laughs> I might take a shot to get a meal for mom and I'll try to film it if I can but otherwise I'll be boogieing out and back home but thanks for watching the video uh, I hope y'all had a great summer I hope fall's going well and Stay tuned to the channel for the, you know, the winners of the giveaway, the rest of the Grey River series, which I hope you're enjoying as well, and, and everything else that's left to come. So, take care, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye
Hold on, boys. Wait till it cools off. I don't want to burn the tongue off you. What do you say? That won't be a good way to spend the day. Hold on. With a burned tongue. All right, boss, that should be cooled off enough for you now. Okay, Barry, here. Nice. Take your time. One bite is gone. You could have enjoyed it. Here, sack. There you go. One bite, also gone. Here, bunch of savages. <clears throat> Try a cup of the blueberry tea now, I suppose. Beer. No, no, no. Come back. That's it. It's done. It's done. It's done. Come back. No, 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 no. Back up. Back up. Back up. Sit down. Good girl. So Brady and Cameron, time to try the blueberry tea. And I know, folks, I was going to say goodbye, but yeah, I'm relaxed down here now. It's nice. So we're going to have some tea together. <laughs> Steep 3 grams, 1.5 teaspoons of tea in one cup of hot water for two to three minutes. Bear, come here. Up here. We're not going. No, come over here. No. There's a bunch of grease now from that fish over on the log, and she's trying to get over there. Lie down. Good girl. Thank you. Sit down. Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. Now we're staying here. No one needs to get that log. That's fine, you can get that when we leave. If you go over there now, you'll be knocking things down. It's gonna be chaos. Here's a little tea bag steeper old mom gave me. So get this your heads up here. It's a tight squeeze here for three of us right now. It's not a big spot. I did a video from this little lean-to, actually making the lean-to. One of the early videos on my channel. I'll link it above there now. But, uh... <coughs> yeah. Made the lean-to, so... I'm gonna check that out. Give it a give it a check. We're also right on the, the main route to the local airport. So... Planes whizzing overhead. I've never used one of these before. Hmm. 1.5 teaspoons. All right. Oh man, it smells real good. That's for sure. It's dark. The leaves are. The tea leaves are real dark, and of course, I suppose blueberry. Blueberry flavored. Black tea. Elderberries. I don't. Anyway, someone's going to have to say in the comments, let me know what elderberry is. Must be something to do with the blueberries. I don't know, because I don't see blueberry in the ingredients anywhere. Anyways, there it is. So that's, that's a fair size teaspoon there. I'm going to put another one in. Now, what am I doing here? Pulling this like that, I suppose. <clears throat> right on. That's done. That's it. It's cracked open now, Brady and Cameron. So, <laughs> I'm, uh... I'll be drinking a bit of it, so it don't go bad or whatever since it's open. So there'll be a few cups of wild blueberry tea in the near future for me. I'd say it's good stuff. Cups cleaned out. Tea bags in there. And uh, we got the boiling water. It says hot. I'm assuming they mean boiling because that's the only way I like my tea and coffee. 
not hot enough to burn the throat off me, but I don't like it. As soon as it gets either bit cool whatsoever, if I can chug it, I don't really like it anymore. I like to sip nice hot coffee and tea, you know. And mine, my nan used to be the same way. So says mom. She'd uh, she'd almost scald the throat off herself trying to trying to drink it. It was that hot, but. I'm going to put a bit more water in there to go along with the saku here that's in there. <laughs> Another airplane. Leave us alone, Buzz. There we go. Let let that steep for a couple minutes and uh, enjoy it. I just don't want the dogs to knock it over. Easy bear. All right, it's go time here uh, for my blueberry tea. I'm excited to try it. I can smell it. It smells just like blueberries. Before I do that, I'm looking for a lighter <coughs> because since I brought it down with me, I'm going to have a little smoke of uh, tobacco there the subscriber gave me. Uh, Irish cream and white truffle. Oh man. Whew. I'm gonna try it a little more. It's still hot though. Whew. Oh yeah. Just like I'm drinking blueberries. Same thing. <laughs> Follow it up with a little. white truffle dessert. Mmm. Goes well with that, it does. Yeah. Thanks, folks. I appreciate it. Sitting down here now. We've been here for a while. A couple hours, at least. And, uh... No sign any ducks... On this little pond out front, this is actually where I got my first ever duck. Probably, I don't know, six years ago, I think, five or six years ago, at least. That was before Saku came around, long before Saku. I remember I had shot the duck. There was three of them there. I just got one. And uh, the other two flew off. Anyways, I couldn't get out to get it. So I had to go back and probably, I don't know, a quarter of a kilometer and portage my canoe over to this little pond so I could paddle out in the canoe and get the duck. And then the first little gully I checked on the way in here. There's another one. That's where Saku got his first duck. Uh, when he was... Geez, he wasn't even a year old. So... It's a nice spot down here. Maybe a couple will come in and land here now. It's coming up on the evening hours. and We're being nice and quiet here. I don't know if the smoke is a bit of bit of a deterrent. I think it might be. Makes sense. But gonna enjoy this and the tea. It's good. And then we're gonna get on our way. And Mr. Saku made his way over to the greasy log.
voor een helpen goedjes zeg. Mm. Over hier. There you go. Zachary gets sort of obsessed over food. He's dying to get in there. Like he's he's troubled because he can't get back there. And I think that's every dog, isn't it? Or a lot of them. Anyways, folks, that's it till next time. Take care. This way, bear. Come on. Zack, 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 Zack. Hold on. Zack, he could be ducks up here. Shh, shh, shh. Have a drink, bye, get it in you. What an evening now, what an evening. <laughs>